Hey everyone, it's Pat and Jess again. And today what we're doing is we're doing slightly different progression than last time. Today we're talking about the chords in what's the progression? Um, numbers or letters? Either. Okay. Uh, so in Roman numerals, it's what's called a six, five, four, one. Or um, if we're in the key of C major, it's A minor, G major, F major, and C major. So let's see if you can play along. We're going to quickly pause the video and show you the different chords that you'll need to know. Hopefully you've been checking them out in the last couple of weeks' videos. And then, yeah, grab your guitars and then play along with us. It's going to be lots of fun. So first chord, you guys, you're going to need to know is A minor. Very nice. So what you're going to need to do is have the open fifth string. Then you're going to have your second finger there on the second fret of the fourth string your third finger on the second fret of the third string, and your first finger on the first fret of the second string. Then have the first string open. And again, if that was too quick, just pause the video and check it out again, or go back and check out the other A minor chord examples. Then we're going into a G chord. Now I sometimes use uh, an extra finger here, so I'll show you that way. So you want to have your second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, your then open fourth string, open third string. Then how I play it is my third finger on the third fret of the second string, because an extra D note, and your pinky all the way on the third fret of the first string. But if that's too tricky, just take your pinky off and drop your third finger down a string. Just a slightly different sound. Which one do you prefer? The next chord we are checking out is we're checking out F. So many different ways of playing F. I'll be playing maybe the bar chord version. But if that's a little bit too tricky, you could try three notes. You could try four notes. But just make sure that you don't have that first string ringing. Because that E note changes the chord into... F major seven. Very good. So how, maybe I'll show you the bar chord version. You want to have your first finger holding down or barring all of the first frets on every string. Then you want to make a power chord with your third finger. So you've got that power chord already. Have your pinky underneath your third finger. Have your second finger on the second fret of the third string for another A note. Then your first finger is also holding down the first fret on the second string, that's a C. And your first finger is also holding down the first fret on the first string, which is an F. Now if that's a little bit too hard, the quick version could be third finger on the third fret of the fourth string, that's F. Second finger on the second fret of the third string, that's A. First finger on the first fret of the second string, and that's C, F, A, C. But again, make sure you don't want to include that first string. Okay, fantastic guys, doing really well. The last chord, C major, come in with your third finger. Very nice. Come in with your third finger on the uh, third fret of the fifth string, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, open third string, and first finger on the first fret of the second string. And that's it. All right, everyone, so now we know the chords. We're gonna quickly go through the chord progression. Uh, so we remember it's A minor, G, F and C major. We'll do, uh, Jess and I will both play together, so grab your guitars, Jess will play some nice little melodies there, so play along with us. Then maybe I'll cut out so you can just play with Jess, and then maybe Jess will cut out so you can just play with me. So let's go through it guys, here we go. So Jess, what's the tempo? Uh, we're doing it at about 100 BPM, um, and each chord is worth four beats. So we'll go one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Very nice. Well, guys, that was it. Hope you had fun. Uh, thank you so much, Jess, for playing along. Uh, if you did have fun or if you want to make some changes for next time or you weren't sure on the chords, definitely leave a comment below. Now, we're going to use this same chord progression next time uh, to solo over. So make sure you've got the chords down and make sure you look at the videos in the description below, which is uh, the A minor scale and the C major scale as well. So make sure you know those scales before next time. Otherwise, I've been Pat. I've been Jess. We'll see you all again. Bye. Bye.